Hello guys, so welcome to JD Home and in today's tutorial, I will show you guys something very very interesting, okay? I will show you guys how to insert your grid lines in your floor plan, okay? Using Archicad. So let's do that together without wasting much of our time. So the first thing, yeah, before that, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Alright, so let's proceed. And um, so click on your grid line, okay? Okay, there are actually two ways of, yeah, inserting your grid line. You can just decide to insert it anyhow or you can still decide to insert it as a pro if you just want to insert it maybe you're in a, in, a, in a rush you can just do something like this very fast nope this one's already i need to change the setup to its default settings um based on default you'll be seeing something uh you'll be seeing something like this you'll be seeing something like this okay yeah, you'll be seeing something like this based on default. Based on default. So you can decide to do it like this all the way. Just fast and then dimension it down. That's all. But if you want your work to come out very neat and clean, first of all, once you click on your uh, um, grid line, what's the name? Is uh, ah, God. Okay, sorry. Grid element tool. Once you click on this grid element tool, you click on your setting dialogs. Change this solid line, change it to dash. You can change it to any of the lines here, but I think dash is cool. Okay, click on dash. And um, for the color, I like with this one, this gray. I'll click OK. And then another thing you need to consider is the names. Okay, if you want automatic names, just click on screw all the way to this start at. Okay, let's see this one. It should start from A. And um, it should be an automatic name okay it should be an automatic name and if you don't want if you want if you're done with abcd you want to start one two three click on this this you're seeing you can choose any other symbol any other name or alphabet or figures you want to start from okay but for this one let's start with abcd and we want it to start at a okay at a so now let's proceed this wall actually i need to explain this again this one this one here the line is center to center so this one is easier if you want to insert your grid lines but if your line is outside face let's say the line is outside face like this outside face it will be very a bit you can't actually trace the exact middle point you have to determine that by yourself okay you have to determine that by yourself so if it's center line you can see the line is is really showing so it will be very easier for you so let me leave this one so that you see how to do it and then this one's already center to center so the first thing now is click on your grid and then do your settings which we've done already okay and then change the name to what you want to start from okay want it to be a and want to start from want it to be abcd i want to start from a now let's proceed i said like i said earlier i'm modeling this as a pro so i need a little guideline okay all the way from here to here okay just a guideline and if this is not cool by me i can decide to shift it a little okay just a little i decide to shift this a little let's see all the way to this side yeah increase this one and i'll increase this one to a little so now let's proceed you click on your grid line and you proceed if you click here we are not really seeing the center line so i'll just click all the way from here to here okay this is our a you can see is at the center <laughs> this look very accurate though if it's not in the center if it's actually not at the center of the line maybe you draw it outside you can decide to move it okay maybe from here and then find your center and click okay and click but if you're using click on grid again if you're using center to center line automatically it will trace the center for you okay if your wall is center to center that's center to center face it will trace the center for you so all you need to do is bring the the, the reference line outside click on this guideline and click on this one same thing with this one in center to center it will trace everything for you take it all the way to this side click here Take it down to this side and click. Same thing. You can see the number in the name is coming A B C. The next one is going to be is going to be D. Okay. 
So we're still tracing the center line for us. So we'll bring it all the way from here to here and click. And then now, we want to get this other side. We have A, B, C, D. Let's go with 1, 2, 3 for this one. So what we need to do now is we'll screw all the way to the main, which is this side, and change this one from A, B, C, D to 1, 2, 3. And then we'll type in 1. We want to start from 1. Okay? So now let's do it together. It will trace these horizontal lines for us. You can see that the horizontal line is showing. So we'll click from here to this side. This is one now. And then all the way to this other side. we we'll bring it here. And then we'll trace it to this side. Click from here to here. We have two. And then now come all the way to this point. Don't click. Just place your cursor there at the middle and it will trace it for you. And then you click here. Bring it all the way to this other side. You can see three. So we have one, two, three. We have A, B, C, D. The same thing down. The same. What we have up, the same thing we have down. What we have on the left, the same thing we have here on our right. Okay. So since we are, if we are done with everything, we cannot take out. Let me suspend this group. We cannot take out this our line. We don't need it again. Okay. Since this is how to model or inside your group. Sorry, grid. Like a pro. Okay. So, thank you so much for your time. From here, now you can continue with your dimensions. I've done a tutorial on how to dimension your work as a professional, okay? So, if you've not seen that video, you can check our... Or maybe I'll still drop it after the end of this video. You'll see... Um, I will recommend that video for you. You can go ahead and watch it, okay? So, if you find the video helpful, if you've learned something, please do well to like, do well to share. If you have any questions, drop it on the comment section. I will attend to you. See you on the next tutorial. Thank you.